Next we have Reverend Larry Hawkins, St. Michael's Lutheran Church. Thank you, Senator. As a person of faith, I know that throughout the ages, religion has done much good in the world. And religion has acted in ways that have been harmful to many people. When religion has been harmful, it has been those times when it has demanded that a certain set of beliefs be adhered to by all people in all circumstances. I am thinking about those times when religion has demanded that people believe that the world is flat. In the time of the Inquisition, when courts were set up to try people's faith to see if all believed the correct way and the only way. Today, religion would be most harmful if it insisted that everyone in all circumstances believe the same thing about marriage. When religion has been at its best is when it has stood beside those whom society has marginalized, and when it has been the voice of those whom society has silenced, and when it has worked to set free innocent victims whose society would try to keep bound up and shut away. Today is the day for religion to step up and be at its best on the issue of freedom to marry and civil unions. To be at our religious best means that I am not asking everyone to believe as I believe or vote as I vote. I am asking that everyone, especially people of faith, look at how the current law on marriage hurts same-sex families and marginalizes same-sex families and locks them away from the dignity and protections the law provides others. And then, Having seen the injustice, the pain, and the oppression of the current law, I urge people of faith to be at our religious best and stand with and for those families who the current law pushes aside and stand for equality in marriage. And having seen the injustice of the current law, I call for people of faith to be at our religious best and speak for those families whom the current law tries to silence and raise your voice in support of civil unions and equality in marriage. And having seen the injustice of the current law, I appeal to people of faith to be at our religious best and work to set free those families whom the current law binds up and locks away from the dignity and the protections of equal freedom to marry and civil unions. I applaud the efforts of Senator Leach and Representative Cohen, and I urge all of you, especially people of faith, to support the bills they present today.